WLEE News Talk 990. You are listening to the Community Radio Show. Good morning. Welcome to the Community Radio Show. Today is Saturday, November 24th. Listening on WLEE News Talk 990 from downtown Richmond, Virginia. My name is Muhammad Hadi, and my usual co-host is uh, nowhere to be found. So hopefully, you know, he didn't have too much turkey. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, ate a lot. Watched some football. Probably slept. That's what, you know, that's what we were talking about over here. Uh, want to say welcome to Selvin. Who's our producer over here? He's talking about how he, yeah, you know, had a couple of days of what eating and sleeping, right? Eating and sleeping. That's, that's hey, it's all good. That's, and exactly, and and Dallas lost, so that's you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to light up the phone. So, welcome. Let me give out the numbers. Uh, the number, uh, local number seven eight eight zero nine nine zero. One second, number seven eight eight zero nine nine zero. The toll free number is eight seven seven nine five three three nine nine zero. Again, you're listening to the Community Radio Show, uh, and it being the weekend of Thanksgiving. So, we've got a great show for you uh, today, keeping in, in uh, the tradition of, you know, obviously, it's it's uh, we're coming up on the um, Christmas holiday season, and, and we have uh, two guests for you that are going to talk about some uh, initiatives that they have of... of um, community service, and that's actually the, the, the focus of, of, of today's show that we, we, we're going to start out with, and obviously whatever it is that you'd like to call us about, feel free to, uh, d- to, to do so. Well, we're talking about uh, the role of you know, faith or the, the, ro- the role that Islam plays in uh, mandating or, or requiring you know, this, uh, community service of, of, of having to take care of uh, the people, others that are, that are less fortunate in whatever whatever capacity um, and means uh, you, you, you can do so. And I must say that I, I've always been, uh, I have a rather uh, suspicious or kind of, no, I wouldn't say conspiratorial, but suspicious view of religious organizations that provide social services in that it's just an avenue toward, for them to, you know, quote unquote, uh, convert people. And I understand that that's not, you know, I'm, I'm I'm painting it with a with a broad brush, but um, and and that's actually not fair. And I and I think uh, when we need to look look at it is that it's it's not something for the person that's receiving the service, rather than it's it's more for you and 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 helping you ground um, your faith. So as you know, in in um, Islamically, as far as um, the the notion of taking care of uh, the poor, there there's a there's a um, well-known uh, hadith, or you know, it's it's a saying of the prophet that's that's uh, that says that, you know, you'll be asked about three things. You know, God will ask you ultimately about about three things. Um, two of which are, are the first is is you know how you spent your youth. You know, what did you what did you do with 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 your youth? How how did you uh, spend it? Um, the t- the time. What did you do? And and the second one is you know what did what did you do? How did you spend your wealth? And there's not a monetary amount tied to that. It doesn't matter whether you have a dollar or whether you have a million dollars. What what is it that you did um, with that with that dollar? And and the bigger um, point here is that you know your whatever whatever wealth you have or don't have, whatever amount of money or resources or you know ability you have or you know first of all that's a, that's a that's a that's a blessing. From God, because none of us, you know, the fact that we can walk and talk and see and you know have the ability to earn an income, it's it's all it's all from God. It's not, you know. Of course, we worked to better ourselves, but ultimately, none of this would occur without you know, um, w- w- without God. And so, whatever it is that you have, uh, you will be asked about as far as how did you spend it? What did you do with that? Uh, with that wealth. So, and the third thing is, uh, you know, I'm having a brain freeze right now, so I can't, uh, I can't remember what that third one. 
<laughs> is right now. It's not a good point. So, but but I know the two things are your 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 youth and your wealth. And so hopefully Bukhari, when he you know decides to roll out of bed and come over here, he'll be able to tell me what the the the, the third one is. And so, um, and I I, I think I I must say that the notion of doing a community service or using your, you know the faith um, to help those in need I, I i must say that i have a tremendous amount of uh, respect for um, what the catholic church does in respect to this with respect to this just simply because um at a, you know I, I personally have experience with that at, at a time when um i would be going to inner city schools um in a, in a, in a very very um impoverished area of living in Columbus, Ohio, you know, uh, through, through a couple of contacts, I would, I was able to go to Catholic school and, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't something that we could afford, but they, they offered that up as, as, as help towards, help to help towards us. And I, and I think, unfortunately, um, we don't have that kind of system to, the, to that. Uh, it's not, it's not that developed and that's, uh, particularly uh, in, in in this country, it's not. That's not saying that I'm not saying that you know. Before all you Muslims call and jump on me, it's not saying that you know we Muslims don't do community service. I'm just saying it's in, institutionalized. It's not as it's not institutionalized like it is in the Catholic, in the like the in the in the Catholic in the Catholic Church. And so, um, going back to 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 uh, the topic topic of today, um, that's what we're talking about. Um, and it becomes it becomes increasingly apparent when, unfortunately, there's more load on uh, the governments that we have, you know, city, local, state governments. And, and the first thing that seems to get cut are services to, to, to people in need, which just doesn't make sense. It's counterintuitive. And so individual people have to step up. And, um, you know, people do it because they derive that obligation out of their faith or whatever whatever motivation they have uh, behind it to provide service. So our fir first guest is going to talk about the uh, a winter coat drive um, that's going on locally here. Our, our second guest is calling all the way from uh, California, and he's going to be talking about um, the weekend tutoring program that he's, he's, he helped found a number of years ago, and it, it's it's an incredible story. But then there's also you know the, a, a bit of tragedy and sadness in the fact that as far as you know the the, the people and the children that he that are that he's helping out in and out east in East Oakland, um, and really the, the 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 lack of opportunity that exists in 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 some of these really impoverished uh, sections of 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 the country, and added on top of that is that you know we're the richest country in the world and so that to have this level of poverty poverty and this lack of opportunity um is is, is really tragic so stay tuned for that we're going to try to i'm going to try to be on task today with two guests so that's going to be you know selvin you got your job cut out for you you're just you know <laughs> so the numbers to call 788-0990-877-953-3993 so and that is you know welcome good morning Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> I know right? you did not just roll up in here. Yeah, Ten minutes late. Hey, you got it's... no food, nothing. <laughs> like you just like. You know, I have a banana. You have an excuse, like I have it, man. It's, it's it's one of the. It's been last couple days, man. It's like everything's been been late. I don't know what's been going on. Um, but good morning, everybody. You know, hope, hopefully, you know, Hadi hasn't been you know too dry. I this is the first time I actually got to listen to part of the show, you like did. you know. Yeah, me, from, you, from my car, I was like, "Who is this guy? Man? This, this guy's terrible, man. It's, it's boring me. No, nah, no, nah, you know, this is sounding good. But, I, I, um, as usual, I have to put the show on my shoulder and uh, <laughs> stand on top of Selvin's shoulder. And, I, you know, I actually got, thought I was gonna beat you here today, man. And all of a sudden, I look at the clock, and then like I got three of my clocks in the house are wrong. I don't know what's going on, man. I was calling everybody. <laughs> he was, he was. When I looked at him, he had this smile. He's like, oh, I, I, thank God you're here. I got to give you my number or something, man. I know, I know. I know. But yeah, so how so, was your Thanksgiving? Uh, it, it was good. You, you have know. turkey? No, nah, no. Nah, I actually went over, uh, ran over a friend's house. I, I usually really don't do the Thanksgiving thing too much. 
You know what I'm saying? What is wrong with you? I mean, it's you want me. You really want me to go ahead. Into it? I, go ahead. I, I just don't feel that it's necessarily necessary, you know, in you know to commemorate, you know, Thanksgiving. So, I mean, my thing is like I don't got a problem going to you know somebody else's house and you know getting. So basically, dogs. you don't got a problem uh, freeloading and going to someone else's yeah, house to eat their turkey, basically. but you just not putting up to put up a turkey. Yeah, but that's how. That's, that's you know, how hey, that's what I mean. Freeloaders, yeah. but I mean, like you know, like like we we really like my 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 part of the family. We really try to um you know have make sure that we have a you know good collective dinner um sometime around Eid, um you know. Right. But outside of that, it's it's not necessarily a religious holiday, so. It's you know it's one of those things where it's kind of if you do something cool, but it's not really something that I push. Anymore. Yeah, this I, I must I, I, I gotta admit this is my my favorite holiday, <laughs> my favorite non-religious holiday <laughs> Thanksgiving. You, and I was always torn because here's why. So mm. when I when I when I was in college in California, I was on the, I was on student government, okay. and the coalition that we had uh, put together for us to win was called Mecha. 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 M e c h a, and they were uh, the Latin and Latino uh, group. On campus, okay, and some of them were hardcore. They were like, you know, they 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 organized the uh, Semana de la, de la Raza, you know, the Day of the Race, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So the Day of the Race was that the Day of the Race. It's like uh, the the race being the Spanish, you know, you know, race. Latin race. Oh, okay. Latin race, yeah. They were hardcore for the, for the people. Yeah, they were they were hardcore, like very 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 staunch, mm -hmm. you know, in their way. And so I was always torn because you know to them they, they you know the the meaning of Thanksgiving is completely different. So right, they're like you know, right. so I had to fly under the radar on those. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, for, for me, uh, to be honest with you, for me, it's not I it's not me celebrating it, um, and discounting what the pilgrims did as much as it is that uh, wreck recognizing what it is that the Native Americans did, mm. you know, and I understand, you know, the history and, and, and all of that, but uh, there, there's like a whole group that's like, you know, anti, yes. anti, yes, that was, the yeah, whole yeah, there, 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 there were protests in my yeah. college and which I mean, but, to, to me, is equally understandable. You know what I mean? You know, Thanksgiving kind of got two sides to, you know, to the core. true. Right. So I, I like to think about it, the, the positive side of, it. I mean, if you really, seriously, seriously think about it, I mean, it's paying homage to the people that basically saved the, saved the pilgrims that came here. Had they not done that, then you know who knows where America would be. They'd still be alive. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Two sides to the coin, man. Yeah. But uh, all right, so what are we getting into today, man? Well, kind of keeping the topic yeah, of Thanksgiving okay. and, and community service, as we were talking about. And I said that you know I, I, I've always had this. Uh, stere not stereotype, but kind of painting with a broad brush. That you yeah, know, I heard religious, that part. That's I, I was in the car. Like, what is this guy talking about? What What did he just say? You know, religious organizations, uh -huh. um, you know, providing services. It's always because you know they're trying to convert people, regardless of what. That's that's kind of crazy. Regardless of what. I mean, it's. Uh, I think all you know, all religious organizations have their you know their different programs and uh foundations and organizations that that have to give i mean the bottom line is i mean we we have to help people you right. know locally across the globe because i mean there's, there's just that uh you know that that part of the world population that just doesn't have the access or it means to do certain things and it's really you know to to not put that foot forward to help those people you know is really a disservice to you know the world as a whole um, and I think really, especially looking at it from a religious standpoint, would contradict, you know, some of the core values and core beliefs for what, you know, what you believe in, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, whether you're, um, you know, anything else, you know, it, it, to, to not give that helping hand, um, you know, would, would definitely go against I right. think, the, the major belief system. So I had mentioned the Hadith, so let's see if you know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you know the answer to this and we'll kind of give you a pass for, you know. Oversleeping this morning. Thank you. The, the the hadith that says, you know, Islamically that you'll be you'll be asked about three things. Mm -hmm. Number one is how you spent your youth. Mm -hmm. Number two, how did you spend your wealth? Mm -hmm. And regardless of, I mean, there's no monetary value attached to it, but whatever it is that you have monetarily, how did you spend it? Mm -hmm. And what is the third one? Do you know? That should be uh, who was your lord? No, it's a different one. But we'll stick with the two. Or who we'll, is your, or who who is uh who is Muhammad? No. Okay, no, we're no, talking about different entities. Yeah. So different. what 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 were you, what, what was about about what, you know the notion of how you spent how you spent your youth and, and you know what what is it that you did and mm -hmm. how did you, how did you spend your wealth and that all you know the, the wealth or whatever it is that you have is entrusted to you by God and that you'll be asked about. 
Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about the three things you're asked in the grave. So yes. Sorry. Yes. That'd be a whole Let's different topic. Topic. Yes. That'd can be we, an interesting can we one, come, too. Can we come, can we come into Sorry. today's show? I'm still, I'm still See, trying to get there. Don't ask me questions, man. Can we come into man. today's just show? The, just give me the answers, man. Just come give on. me the answers. <laughs> <laughs> like Jeopardy. Yeah. My eyes are still halfway, you know, peeling open. Um... Okay, so we're going to get to the third one, or was that not relevant? I, I, no, no, I, I, I've completely skipped with the third one. Oh, so you don't know either. I don't okay. know. I was asking. Right. That's why I said it's a test question. Oh, well, I can Google it. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. You should do that. Yeah, so. All right. But, yeah, those, yeah. Those, are, those are still two very important things that, um, you know, can really dictate how you live your life, you know, right. definitely. But so so you, you kind of think that, you know, some, some charities are. No, no, I mean, not, not specifically charities. I'm talking about religion, you know, faith, faith-based, faith organiz- you know, religions, if uh-huh. you will. Right. The notion that, you know, oh, let's go feed the poor today. And, you know, we're from this, you know, organization or we're from this, you know, we're from this church or mosque or synagogue. OK. And I, 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 I don't want to paint them all with a, with a broad brush, but you're not helping people because you expect them or you want them to convert. That's not what you're helping people for. Okay. And I think, obviously, we're talking. You know, unfortunately, you know, if you look at it historically, with with the with the you know with the with the coupling of you know colonialism and mm-hmm. you know they're they're tying with with the church at the time and coming in. I mean that we have that part of it as well. But here, I often run across and you know people that are very very um, religiously oriented, and it's it's always, hey brother, let, you know, you know, let me buy you a cup of coffee. To, you know, and I'm like, it's really like, I can sit down and talk to you. Like, right. Like you can't just <laughs> sit down and talk to me because I'm a human being and that, you know, you're, you're giving, you're giving a plate of food, but underneath it is religious literature, regardless of what that religious literature is. Well, I, I, I think that sometimes, um, I don't know, it could just be, you know, just judgmental, but sometimes, you know, people may feel that, well, maybe this guy is hard down on his luck or his time because of his lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he needs to have or, you know, maybe doesn't have a God in his life. And that's, you know, by by focusing more on some type of religious belief, you know, kind of getting more down to the root of, you know, if you believe, you know, why you're here, you know what I'm saying, is to worship God or things like that. Then maybe you're not doing that and maybe they can help, you know, maybe motivate you in that direction. Like, hey, here's a warm plate, but this is also... You know, this is also why I'm here. This is why I'm helping you because I feel like I need to help people. So maybe you should follow, you know, or look into my belief system. Maybe you'll, you know, find better, better fortune, you know, or, or better life from it. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of legitimate to a certain degree. Now, of course, if you buy a guy a Happy Meal, then you're trying to, you know, you know, preach to him for, you know, the next three hours. That could be a little interesting. But I mean, I've done that myself, honestly. You know, because I, you know, I try, I actually try not to give people. You bought someone a Happy Meal? No, 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 no. <laughs> I knew you was going to say it. No, no, like, you know, like, I try not to give people money, you know what I'm saying, on the street. Right. Simply because, like, I've given a guy, like, you know, a couple of dollars and literally watched him go into 7-Eleven to come out with a Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, wow, okay, that's, that's just killed it. But. Um, there's been times where, you know, I bought, you know, like just, you know, a, a, a meal or something, you know, burger, fish sandwich, something like that. Like I told you, I keep pamphlets in the car. They've been in there for years. So I was like, you know, what the hell? Maybe I asked them when they asked me, and, when they asked me to give mm-hmm. money and I tell them, I'm like, listen, I'm Muslim. I can give you money, but you cannot oh, buy beer. He's having conversations with the guy. I, yeah. On the I'm corner. like, you can't buy beer. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 brother. Salikum salam. I'm yeah, Muslim. So yeah, like, but that, that, that like, still doesn't. <laughs> granted, that that may that may kind of take away, you know, the uh, the 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 responsibility of, of you know you feeding the habit. But I mean, how you tell him that too? You know, like, hey, no beer, no, no smokes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because use it on seriously, that that question came up. I remember yeah. at, a, at a camp, and a lot of the Muslims <laughs> said, "Listen, you know, we're walking, particularly uh, the Muslim women, mm-hmm. uh, that uh, you know, where they can be distinguished with their clothing, and they said that you know." We're, we're asked to give money and we want to give, but we're, we're worried about what is it that they're going to do right. with the money. And the with scholar the said, you know, if, if someone is asking you and you get that feeling in your heart to do something good, mm-hmm. just do it. And that that's the responsibility of what they do afterwards isn't with it. Cause you don't want to prevent yourself from getting, uh, doing something good for someone just because you think they might do, you know, X, Y, or Z. But right, I've done right, that where right, people right. walked up to me and I'm like, Hey, let's go to big, let's go to, you know, Burger King and, uh, 
I get you, uh, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like food is fine, you know. And, I mean, you know, they'll give you the right. food, whatever, drop the little you know, pamphlet in there sometimes, and that's it. You know right. what I mean? If they read it, cool. If not, but at least I know that they still got them. Like, they're going to eat right. the food, you know. Yeah. Now, they, they, now I have heard of stories where people have, you know, offered food, and they're like, you know, I don't want that. Just give me some money. You don't got any change? Like, <laughs> you need to get <laughs> off of the block. Right. Okay? But you I, need to get right. off the and, street. And I think this this presents, and we'll get to them because I know Irfan's on, on, on hold right now, the MSA president. This is the, the, the part for me personally is Muslim is, you know, you know, during our holiday season, which doesn't doesn't coincide with the standard holiday season. I try to encourage this notion of giving back with the kids. So we have, um, you know, our own little food drive at home or giving money right. to, to charitable organizations. But I think, you know, we should be commended because we actually do it twice, if you will. <laughs> we do it for our during our holiday season. Right. As well as, you know, in this particular case, you know, such as the such as the uh, winter coat drive. So we can uh, segue segue into that. But Bring you know, like a mm-hmm. couple of weeks ago, when when it was Hajj, you do the slaughtering. You keep a third. You give a third to your family, and the other third you give to uh, the community. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at large. So let me see if I can get this uh, uh, phone right. Here we go. I think that's that's my one job. You got to get here on time. Bring me <laughs> coffee. I got to hit the button. But well, I haven't even. even we're gonna bring on Irfan Mujibuddin, president of the MSA. He's a so- senior marketing major at VCU, and he's a lifelong resident of uh, Richmond. Yeah. Let me see if I can do this. Irfan, are you on? Good guy. Hello, Irfan. Good morning. How are you? Good. Well, Good thanks. Song. How are you? Song. Like like Good. 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 Yeah. Thank. Thanks for uh, getting up so early. Absolutely. It's you know for I know for your college students it's you know. Yeah, yeah, it was it was kind of rough, but I made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, man. So how are things? How was your Thanksgiving? Great, I'm you know I couldn't ask for anything better. Stayed at home, uh, enjoyed the time, uh, went shopping yesterday, did that whole thing. You know I've I've been liberated from from retail looking for about two years now, but yet I still mm. find myself Black Friday in the lines every morning. So. Nope. I, I, <laughs> worked at Best Buy, yeah. I, I quit, man. I, I, after yeah. a couple of years ago, I was like, I do online stuff only. I'm not sitting out in the cold no more. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I ended up saying most of the, most of the money that I spent was online anyway. So. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Cy- on cy- Economical. Well, th- thanks for coming to on the Community Radio Show. Let me give out the numbers first in case people want to call and ask questions. 7880990 993 so I get, I get. Uh, the reason I wanted to have you on was I was, I was fascinated to know about uh, the, you know, the uh, MSA students at VCU. They're doing a, a winter coat drive, which I believe starts on Monday. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So if you can uh, talk a little bit about uh, the history of that, or h- how many years that that has been uh, going on. This for the, for the Muslim Students Association at VCU. This will in fact be the first year we're going to do the winter coat drive. Uh, I'm sure in the past they've done other sort of clothing drives. However, we're hoping to start this new tradition uh, working with the Richmond organization Home Again. Um, and they've handled all the analytics and logistics for us as far as distribution and what we need, et cetera. And we'll be able to set up the um, the entry point, I guess, to to donating for, for students here at VCU. So this will be the first year for the winter co-drive. Um, and, you know, we, we've been blessed with a wonderful team to take the initiative and in making this happen for us. And we've just put all the boxes at the dormitories and and, and, and main you know academic buildings around VCU and other points. Okay, and I, I see this is going on from uh, November twenty sixth to December 9th, Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. How, how many you know coats and items? Because it's not just coats. Actually, I'm saying you got coats, hats, blankets, um, twin size bed sheets. So you think nobody got a queen? But <laughs> <laughs> no. But you know, I mean, I, I, how, how many items do, you know do you guys expect that you'll you know be able to collect, or is just pretty much just hey, we're gonna do this and see what happens, and then you know take it from there. You know, it's it's our first year, so it's hard. We don't have any trends to work with. Okay. But I guess working with the with the, the trends from from past events, and also every Friday after our congregation here on campus, uh, we go out to Monroe Park and and make and deliver sandwiches uh, to the homeless in Monroe Park, and and looking at the trends of that and how popular that has become. Also working with the students over at Baptist Collegiate Ministry um, that come and and, and 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 join our cause and. And a lot of also non-Muslim students that love to help out with the MSA um, events that also include community service, mm-hmm. I think we'll be able to do really well this year uh, as far as for our first year, what we're able to expect. 
Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic about the numbers. To put an actual number on it, it might be a little bit difficult, but considering we have, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of students that we're reaching out to with, right. with big boxes, um, and also if anyone wants to contact us and say, hey, you know, you know, it's going to be hard for me to bring it to you, but if you have someone that could pick it up for me at my home, we'll be able to work those things out. So I think, and with the opportunity like this being on the radio, um, and just spreading it through Facebook and social media with the technology we have nowadays, too, is more than just a box. We're definitely reaching out to, to a lot of people out there, including just, you know, VCU and the Richmond area. So I'm hoping we'll be able to pull in some good numbers. Gotcha. Now, now, question. So if, if you know, there's a person out in the community that wants to drop uh, some items off at VCU, what what would be the best place for them to, to bring those items to? You know, I'm, you know, VCU is like a little city now, so, you know, if you're an old guy like me, you might not be able to, to get around anymore because things have changed. <laughs> <So> <laughs> but uh, uh, what would you recommend? Well, one, one thing I definitely recommend is you're able to drop into any dormitory at VCU. There's a security desk up front just to let them know, hey, I want to be, you know, I want to drop this off. Um, if you speak to most VCU students, they can direct you to any dormitory. Also, we're going to keep one at the Baptist Collegiate Ministry, which is located right next to the Commons Diagonal to the Library, uh, right next to the cathedral there on Floyd Avenue. Okay. Um, and so these are, you know, a few options. And again, if you have something that's of bulk or, or you don't, you know, it'll be inconveniencing for almost you to go and, and take this, or, you know, it might be easier for us to come and get it for you, we can definitely work that out. And, uh, and I'm sure you two will be able to post the link up on the, the Facebook page of yours, and that way viewers and Definitely. listeners online can be able to check that out and be able to contact the MSA directly in regards to more information. All right. Now, so you definitely, yeah. I, I take it, so you, you will pick up, right? I mean, you will do <laughs> runs and pick up. So I think I think I just put you on the hook for that. So well, uh, I had I mean, to follow I mean, up. I kind, of, I, mean, I kind of did myself, too. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> you know, Get uh, the gas I'm money. Sure if, if any of my teams listening, they're probably, you know, you know, asking questions to each other, but... However, it's something we definitely can do, and I don't, I don't see why why we wouldn't. You know, if not, we can. You know, if you know, and we'll play it by ear. Depending on how big, uh, you know, the ball gets rolling here, uh, we can say, okay, you know, maybe there'll be a. There, if there's a lot of people, let's say in the Midlothian area, then we can schedule a date to, to, to pick them all pick them all up at once, et cetera. So you know, we'll we'll definitely consider efficiency into this as well. Gotcha. Right, so I had a question. So, so can you, can you talk about you know? Uh, as far as the the beginning of the show, we were talking about you know the, the notion of, of community service and you know from our, from an Islamic perspective of uh, having an obligation to serve those that are that are in need. And so, can you talk a little bit about that? Was was it a is it a hard kind of sell to the to the members of the MSA, or was this just um, something that that they you know came naturally to them? As far as yeah, this is just something that we have to we have to do in addition to the other events that have happened in the past. You know. Basically, the, the Muslim Students Association at VCU has been, been established for about over 15 years now. And what we do, we strive to provide a welcoming and uh, inviting and comfortable atmosphere for Muslims and non-Muslims on campus here at VCU, and that's considering about over 20,000 students, including undergraduate and graduate students. So that's, that's what we try to do on the foundation of certain values, and one of those values including community service. Um, mm -hmm. And also, as our Muslim duty, it is important to include community service in this because one of our five pillars of Islam is the God, which means alms giving. Uh, so it's something that we, without second thought, I guess, very comfortably are able to um, include into the agenda of the Muslim Students Association, uh, and it's it's definitely a a popular event out of the events. You know, we do the interfaith, we do, we do the social. Uh, and a bunch of other things as well. You know, we have, you know, we had an inter-MSA event this past weekend where other MSA members come. We had over 70 people that were non-VCU come and attend for the weekend, and that was excellent. So all these things uh, have popularity, uh, but at the same time, just as comfortably we do these other events, community service goes right into it. And just like I said, you know, we have Project Downtown that comes every Friday uh, in the afternoon. We set up over at the Baptist Collegiate Ministry, and uh, make sandwiches and deliver them in Monroe Park. Right. And we get a lot of attention from non-Muslim students as well. So it's kind of a win-win situation for us because it's our duty as Muslims as well, but at the same time, our goal, uh, kind of like you were talking about earlier, isn't to go out and convert anyone or, 
or to go rush to the TV or the papers and see what's being said. Mm-hmm. It's really just just to kind of build this atmosphere that that's comfortable for students here at VCU. That's really the main goal of the MSA. Good. Right, and I want I think I did wanted to put this on and commend you. I, I know in years past, during Ramadan, the, the MSA did what was the fast-a-thon in which you were encouraging students to fast and the money that they would have normally have spent that particular day on food to donate to the Virginia Food Bank. And I, I know that you guys raised uh, you know several thousand dollars on, on, a, on a consistent basis. And I think, I don't want to say unfortunately, but just obviously because... Ramadan shifts and it's right. more in the in the in the in the in the summer now. I think you guys need to be commended for coming up with it with with another way of doing community service. Um, and you know, I think it goes to the creativity of you guys are with MSA of coming up with something else to be able to continue that. Yeah, because uh, I, I remember you know when when I was there, you know, the fastest time was right. You know, because the the Ramadan was right. You know, around uh, uh, exam times. You know, and that was, it sucked, but, you know, it was it was kind of like, okay, you know, when we really thought about it, okay, how is this going to work out in future years? You know, I was just kind of like, right. well, hopefully it doesn't fall off and whatnot. Of course, you know, old guy, I'm not, you know, haven't been there for a while, but, you know, keeping tabs on you guys, you know, is you've definitely done a good job at preserving that and still, you know, educating people about Islam, still bringing people um, into, uh, uh, you know, that aspect of fasting and raising money for, you know, for, for charities and and uh, uh, things like the food bank um, and still giving back to that. So so definitely um, kudos to, to you guys for holding that right. down. I got one more quick question. Um, now, there is a, uh, you know, there's uh, MSA, you know, also in different areas, like uh, I think uh, University of Richmond. I'm sorry, does, does University of Richmond have an MSA? Okay. So Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And also uh, uh, Union, Virginia Union, they have an yeah. MSA as well. Are you guys working collectively with them on this project? Uh, not necessarily on this project, not meaning, though, however, we can. And that's actually a great uh, idea for us to way to move forward on this and, and expand our network right. in this uh, in this uh, winter code drive. We can definitely uh, do that. Now, we we have reached out to them and build rapport with other MSAs. Right. Like we talked about, we had an interim MSA program. So even taking it past Richmond, we can certainly do that. And we have the already established network and resources to be able to reach out to the other MSA presidents at other universities local to us and reach out to them and say, hey, this is what we're doing, and, you know, we'd love for you to join. Gotcha. Okay. All right, All right I wanted to thank you. Just to, just to recap, the Muslim Student Association at VC are having a winter coat drive, and you can drop off your coats and other items anywhere uh, across campus, as well as uh, you can contact us, and if, if you're in the community and you want to donate, you can always reach out to us here at the Community Radio Show, and we will pass that along to uh, Irfan, and, and yep. you know, he'll send someone, probably yeah. one of us, to... To come uh, pick up, pick up the, the coach. So, <laughs> and that that's from November 26th to December 9th. And again, as you're working with the Home Again uh, organization uh, for that, that provides shelter and support to the homeless in and around Richmond. So, so I really thank there. you for coming yeah. on your phone. Absolutely, thank you for All having right, me. Take no, care. Thank you. Sorry. Absolutely, take care. All right, so All right, that was interesting. I, yeah, Home Again. Um, I gotta look them up. I know I've heard of them, but I don't. I, you know, I've never really, really done anything. So maybe, maybe you know, we can see what else they do. You know, what I'm saying, and bring them on or something. Like All right. That. So I hear the yeah. music. So that means we're going to. Our... I like talking through the music. It makes me feel like you know, really You're a DJ or something. Yeah, you know, like, like talking up <laughs> the show. You listen to the community radio show on WLEE News Talk 990. Number is seven eight eight zero nine nine zero or one eight seven seven nine five three three nine nine zero. And of course, if you have any other uh, questions or comments, feel free to give us a call, and uh, maybe we can give you some answers. We'll be back in a minute. See you on the other side of the break. <laughs> 